Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready for last week? We almost finished section five. Yes, I'm finished. Section five already finished. Excellent. Aquí estoy revisando sus notas. final hello hello. Uh, hello hello algunos no han realizado el final hello, test teacher. todavía verdad la mayoría most of you Alex Gonzalo. Present is present. Uh, walking okay. on my playbook. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Ana Yulisa. Carlos David. Claudia Margarita. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Carlos David, um, are you working, Carlos? Present teacher. Okay, be ready. Yes. Concepción de Lourdes. Dalila Cristina. Present teacher. Excellent. Elena Marisol. Present teacher, I'm here. Great. Aileen Lorena. Present teacher. Great. Y Dalia Margarita. Sí. Present, present, present. Excellent. Iliana Elizabeth. Present. Great. Ingrid Morena. Excellent. Jefferson Alexis. Present teacher. Excellent. Jenny Hakani. Present teacher. Great. Juan Carlos Lopez. I hear teacher. Great. Juan Jose Carpio. Present teacher. Excellent. Liliana Dolores. Luis Alejandro. No. Luis Josué. Manuel Fernando. No ha pasado lista, profe. Yes. Ahorita, Luis Alejandro. Luis Mendoza, Luis Alejandro Mendoza. Es okay. que voy manejando. Ok. okay. Hello, teacher. Yo Hello. también. Ok, lo ordes. Grando, gracias, gracias. Manuel Fernando. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Excellent. Marjorie Marilyn. Present. Present. 
Gracias. <laughs> Olga Lisset. Present, Miss. Okay. Rina Margarita. Present, teacher. Excellent. Telma Yamilet. Present, teacher. Okay. Veronica Alas. Present, teacher. Excellent. And Vilma Aide. Vilma, no. Okay. Thank you for being on time. Today we're going to continue with section five. Do you have some questions regarding to the platform? Something that you have troubles with? Or do you want an specific that we can do in a specific part of the final test if you need? No. All good. Yo solo tenía una duda con una con una pregunta en el en el final en el final en el examen final el número dos donde decía de los verbos donde hay que voy a poner love y travel. Okay. No sé ahí yo le ponía I love to travel de Europa in Europa. Lo demás no me acuerdo pero no sé ahí cómo era la respuesta. No This one, put the words in the correct order. This is exercise two. Yes, esa es la última. I love. Si no me equivoco, aquí estamos usando ing as a future. Porque yo le puse I love to travel o I love traveling porque pensé que era en futuro. Y no le sale bien. No, 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 ninguna de las dos me sale. Okay, I love traveling. En teoría vamos a usar eh, ing as a future. Ya, 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 uh, without ing in a base form. Um, yes. Entonces lo puede poner contractado o lo puede poner completo el would o I aunque con el apóstrofe a veces hay no lo reconoce would, a veces ajá a veces no lo reconoce I would love to travel to travel yes what do you hope to do after graduation. Okay, do you want to complete the whole exercise? ¿Lo completamos todo? Yes, por, so, sí, porque solo esa última es la única que me, 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 da, me dio un poquito de problema. Ok, Bye. veamos. Ahí, toma ahí. Veamos la number one. What do you
plan to do tonight. Okay. What do you plan to do tonight? Okay, are you sure? I want to say. Okay, I want to stay. Aquí pusieron at. I want to stay at home. No. No. Tengo apagada la cama. Okay, number two. What are you and Dave ahora en futuro going to do? Going to do tomorrow. Okay. We nos gustaría. Would like to have. Would like. Okay. We would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it mm -hmm. may rain. What do you? What do you? Answers. Hope, hope to do. Hope to do. Para mañana. What do you hope to do after graduation? Okay, y luego teníamos el I will love to travel in Europe for a while. Okay, let's check. And next, yes. Muy bien, entonces, yesterday we were talking about future with present continuous and going to. Yes. ¿Cómo te mando? Ok, entonces ah. teníamos las dos formas. Les había costado un poquito más la primera, ¿verdad? Donde no íbamos a usar el going to directamente, o sea, no íbamos a usar going to plus another action verb, ¿okay? que esa sería la diferencia entre los dos, ¿verdad? Utilizando solamente el verb to be y el otro sería utilizando el going to plus an action verb or a main verb. Vimos las time expressions and ese es el ejercicio. Uh, no, right. Ese sí lo hicimos ayer. Do we finish? Do you remember? What tonight? Sí lo hicimos, perdón. What are you... Yes, teacher. No. Ese no. No. No es el mismo que está on the platform. No, no. No, No es este. Creo que es ese, teacher. Yes, sí, es it's ese. the same. Sí. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same exercise. Que okay, ese es el que, a ver, yes, es el que acabamos de hacer. No, eso lo hicimos ayer, yesterday, I think. Okay. 
Then we have a conversation. Ah, vimos el word, word power. Hicimos some examples. And this is the conversation. Can I take a message? Okay. Hello everyone. In the conversation, very closing meaning will be used at as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, so two volunteers to model the conversation. Vilma and Marjorie. Dedocráticamente. <laughs> okay, teacher. Comience Marjorie. Okay. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mister Mister Cal Kale. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K-I-L-E. All right. Please, they, they'll hear our meetings is on Friday at two, two hours 30. Friday, Friday at Friday at 2.30. And call you ask her to call me this afternoon. My number is 646 Yes, Mr. Cole. I give me Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. We have Elena and do we have another volunteer to model the conversation with Elena? Alex. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Mr. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that A-J-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on a Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30? And, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. 
31. Yes, Mr. Cho. I'll give me Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, and we have, yes, Elena. No, 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 I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, okay. Only remember, this is G, G, la J es la otra. J es, oh, yeah. ajá, this is G, ajá. G and J. G. Okay, so let's move. We have messages with tell and ask. Okay. Yes, Jenny. Quería participar, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, another volunteer to read with Jenny the conversation. Okay, Dalia. Idalia and Jenny. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Wayne, please? I am sorry she is not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell me our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. Two thirty. No. <laughs> thirty. Yes, Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. Sorry, sorry. Continue. Continue. And call you at if you tell me, it tell me, my number is six four six five 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 forty three forty thirty one. Six four six five five five. Cuarenta. Forty. Forty. Forty thirty one. Yes, Mr. K. I'll give Mr. Graham the Messi. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. Muy bien. Una cosita solamente para para recordar. In, in general. In general. Um, the, the phone numbers in, here in El Salvador, we say it in, in pairs. Commonmente se dicen en parejas. But in the United States, commonly the, the number, the telephone numbers, you say it number by number, one by one. So you have to, to, to say each number independent. For example, uh, 646 555 4031. In general, in the United States, here in El Salvador, yes, it's it's different uh, because we we do it in pair. For example, my my cell phone number is 7333. Okay, you you say in different here. But in the United States, yes, it, it has to be 
one number by one. Okay. Otra de las diferencias que tenemos que hacer y en la que tiene que hacer énfasis cuando la diga es la diferencia entre Mr. y Mrs. Que okay. tenemos, no sé si vieron, eh, había una película de Mr. y Mrs. Smith. Aquí tenemos Mrs. Okay, with S, Mrs, which is the, the female, the female mm, noun, Mrs. Okay, porque dice, mm, may I speak to Mrs. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she is not in. Entonces, she. Entonces, se refiere a femenino. Okay, ese sería para el caso de Mrs. But we commonly have the Mr. Okay, este es como el más común, ¿verdad? Mr. Donut, Mr. Kale. And this is for masculine. Okay, Kale, Kale. Um, I think that's it. Ah, uh, message. Okay, practice the pronunciation. Message, message. Okay, questions? Only when I, when I learn to, to this difference, my, my anterior teacher say R is for female and, and the letter R, R, is for male. R and double is... and double S yes. is for a señorita como lo conocemos actualmente. Yes, correct. Un poco polite para 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 decirlo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. sería Mr. Oops. Um uh, Mr. for male, ¿verdad? O sea, este es como el más común, Mr. Mr. Donut, por ejemplo. Now we are in September, so you have to remember. Okay, Mr. Mrs. Okay. It's for male. So when they are married, when they are married, Mr. and Mrs. Por eso les mencionaba lo de la película, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Y como lo decía Alex, we have Miss, but this is the full way. Um, it's for ladies that are that are single, okay? Not married, not married. When they are single, so she's a Miss, a lady, okay? Like it's clear. Mr., Mrs., and Miss. Yes. Yes, all clear. Okay. So let's move. Um, we can use to give a message, okay? We can use a statement and a request. Okay, an statement is a sentence. Okay, something affirmative. Okay, the meeting is on Friday. That's a sentence, a regular sentence. Okay, that's a statement. Okay, but when you want to tell in someone else the message, okay, so you can, you have to add like an introduction, okay? For example, uh, tell and tell my mom, tell my teacher that uh, I'll be late tonight, okay? Entonces, tenemos aquí, wait, sorry. 
this is a regular sentence. Okay, the meeting is, is on Friday. But if we want to give this sentence as a message, okay, in este caso, a message is cuando lo vamos a dirigir a una tercera persona. And that person it isn't there or isn't here, isn't, isn't with us. So you can say tell or, well, please tell Anne, could you tell her, would you tell Anne? Okay, entonces estas serían como las, um, las frases polite que decía Alex, que okay, please, could, would. Entonces, Creo que con ustedes vimos uh, en las primeras semanas la diferencia o la intensidad de las que son más polite. Hay unas más, más polite que otras. ¿Sí? ¿Se recuerdan? No. <risa> bueno, estaban en el restaurante para pedir. Uh -huh. Yes. Entonces dijimos que would... Es como la más polite. Luego iríamos con could. Um, so, so. Okay, esta sería la más polite y esta sería la menos polite. O sea, es polite, pero es como la más básica. Please. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Or could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Y además, estas las hace como, como preguntando. Y si yo le digo, please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday, estoy dado por sentado de que me va a dar el mensaje, ¿verdad? Es casi como hacerlo. But in, in the cases when you use could and would, it, you are asking for a favor, okay? Making a request. Then we have call me this afternoon. That's the request. I need that. La primera era un statement. La segunda is a request. You need something immediately or um, in a short time. So the message, igual podríamos utilizar las mismas frases introductorias. Please, and, pero en, eh, please could and would. Solo que en este caso, como estamos haciendo una request, estamos, eh, en este caso, esta iría como para nosotros y esta sería para ellos. Que okay, please ask. Que okay, ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him Call me this afternoon, or would you ask him? Sorry, I have troubles with my connection. Okay, no entonces, entonces estamos viendo lo de la diferencia. Eh, cuando vamos a, a decir un mensaje, o sea, queremos que alguien lo diga, you, have, you, you, you are asking to tell, to tell someone else the message. In a request is in which you need the information or you need to that person do something. Okay, esa sería la diferencia con la de the request ahí. Sorry, I'm not sharing my screen. This one. Okay, so please ask him to call me this afternoon. Or please uh, ask him to come earlier to the class. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Okay, y siempre could and would como más, um, more polite y en forma de pregunta, because you are 
making a request. You are requesting something. Okay. It's clear this part. So we do the examples. They said, look at the messages, clips, ask someone to pass one this message. Use the words in parentheses, then compare with the partner. Okay, let us start with, we have an example. Okay, we have the movie is at one. So, y dice que vamos a utilizar could. Okay, en este caso, vamos a dar o vamos, a, is, it's a statement or it's a request. En la number one. Statement. It's a statement, okay? The movie is at seven. Y como nos dice que vamos a utilizar could, el, the example nos quedaría, could you tell Joel? Aquí, El that por eso les aparece en paréntesis, porque lo pueden utilizar o no lo pueden utilizar. Could you, could you tell Joel the movie it's at seven? O también podría decir, could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven? Ok, vamos ahora con la number two. Um, Olga, pick me up at home at home around four sería un statement o sería una request uh, um, yes Olga es, no me ubico todavía Lee. an statement is information inf información a request when you need something, cuando necesita algo. Pick me up at home around four. Eh, ayúdele, María Magdalena. Statement. Sí, iba a decir. La primera, ¿verdad? Number two. Statement, Miss. Pick me up. Are you sure? It's what a is, request. It's a request. Pick me up. Okay. Ven a recogerme. Pick me up a home around four. Yes. So it's a request. Okay. Lo urdes. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Haciendo la request. Utilizando would. Mitch. Utilizando uh. Wait. Uh -huh. Arriba están los modelos. Wood. Dalila, could you ask me to mm -hmm. pick me up at home around 4 p.m.? Yes, excellent. Muy bien. Would you ask me to, ahí le, le, le haría falta el to, to pick me up at home around 4 p.m. Okay, great. Excellent. Vaya, va, veamos the next example. Um, Vilma, number three. The concert on Saturday is canceled. Mm -hmm. A statement or request? Um, this is uh, what the console is, is a re request, no? The concert on Saturday is canceled. Um, a statement, a statement. It's a statement. Okay, hágame la frase utilizando please. 
dice please uh, no sé Please hey. tell Eva. Yes. Please, Please tell Eva. That the concert on Saturday is cancelled. ¿Cómo se dice? Cancelled. Cancelled. Cancel. Cancel. Okay. Yes. Correct. Please tell Eva that the concert on Saturday Eva. is cancelled. Mm -hmm. okay. Vamos más o menos ahí viendo... La diferencia. Vaya, hagamos the last three. The last three exercises. Uh, Ingrid, number four. Bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight. Yes, ma'am. Statement or request? Request. Bring the tickets. Yes, Ingrid. A request. A request. Muy bien. A request. Hágame entonces la oración con good. Could you ask? Sí, pero ¿qué dice, verdad? Yes. Tú, tú, tell me, tell me, uh, to bring the, the, ¿cómo se dice la, la siguiente? Tickets for the hockey game to, tonight. Tonight, yes. Thank you, Ingrid. Okay, number five. Jefferson. Y la number six, Ileana, para que la vaya pensando ya. Yeah. Que okay, Jefferson, number five. Are you there, Jefferson? Claudia, number five. Number five is a statement. Okay, the museum opens until tomorrow morning. Okay, ahora con would. Uh, would you tell Anne that the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Excellent, great. Okay, number six, Ileana. Tatiana, uh, te, Telma. El nombre de este gusano. Vilma, do you want to participate? ¿Qué hay, Dalia? Would you like me to ask in of the cafeteria at 12 Le hizo falta meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Uh, uh, re repeat, uh, please. ¿Cómo la, ¿Cómo la dijo? Please. Would, would you like meet us in of the cafeteria at 12.15? No, sería usando please. Please. What? Yes. Está lloviendo muy fuerte por eso. Ah, ok. Ok, Alex. That is a request. Ok. And... It's a request. Miros. Yes. Miros in front. Of the cafeteria at 12.15. Yes. Please. 
Hola. Yes. Okay. Please ask, ask Jenny, meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.50. 12.50. Okay. Are you agree? Thelma, please Juan Carlos. Ask, please ask Jenny, meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Okay. To me, I think it's an statement. It's not a request. He please tell, please tell Jenny that meet us in front of the cafeteria. It's, it's, it's an statement. Es como cuando tienen una cita. It's, o sea, it's information. It's information. Esa sería la diferencia. An statement it's general or a specific information in this case because you are uh, making an appointment. Okay, but a request is when you need something. O sea, cuando... Mm, digamos que no, no, es un, no, es, no está pasando como información en sí sino que está pidiendo que haga algo. Pero en este caso está pasando la información, que nos veamos, o sea, que nos reunamos allá, meet us. Entonces sería un statement. Siendo a statement, was, please tell Jenny, meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Yes, at 12.15, 12.15. Or... ¿Cuál es la otra forma de decir esa hora? Sí lo vimos con ustedes. 15 after 12, 15 after noon. 15, 15 past or 15 past. Quarter, quarter past 12. Yes. Ok. Thank you, Alex. ¿Está claro cómo hacer la diferencia de cuando es un, una request y cuando es un statement? Yes. Okay. I don't. Yes. No. 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 Ok. Sí, no. Muy bien. Un statement sería cuando usted le está dando información a alguien. Como tu cita es a, la, a las 10. Te llamó tal persona. O sea, that's an statement. Information. Information. Que eh, tu mamá eh, viene. Por ejemplo, that's information. In a request, usted está pidiendo. Eh, yo creo que esta es como la, la diferencia más fundamental. O sea, esa persona está pidiendo que, que se haga algo. That's a request. Una, una petición. Okay, that's the meaning of request. O un mandato. Toma, uh -huh. Se puede tomar como sí. un mandato. Yes, como la de pick me. Que pick me up. Pick me, que es break como, me. O sea, vení y ya, ¿verdad? O sea, no... Y recuerden lo que vimos de los grados de, de polite que decían. Unos como más, o sea, come right now and pick me. Or would you please que pick me up. Okay, entonces, ahí están también esas diferencias. Que practice, practice. Hagan oraciones y practiquen. Muy bien. We have the reduction. Would you and would you. Um, y eso ya lo hemos estado practicando. We have a role play. Case. 
so far. We have the reading. But let's check the platform until the, the seller reading. Okay. I see lo de messages. Ah, aquí está lo de tell and ask. Que le pueden dar también una revisadita al video para que entiendan un poquito más la diferencia. O sea, tell es decir información. When you tell something, information. And ask cuando pide, pide algo. Okay, that's the difference between tell and ask. A statement sería tell and request ask. Okay. And estas son las que acabamos de hacer, pero yes. Y ah, we have the reading here. Muy bien. Esa ya la contestaron en su plataforma. Es la que acabamos de hacer. Yes, miss. ¿Y los demás? No problems with this part. No, teacher. Yes. Okay, so we can move to the next. No la hicimos aquí en la plataforma, pero la hicimos en la de forma práctica. It's okay. The answers are okay. Doubts with this particular topic. No. Hable ahora o calle para siempre. Vale. Yes, bitch. Okay. Vamos entonces with the reading. Okay, read the article, try to understand the point of view. Choose the ideas you think the writer may agree with. Okay, so let's do the reading. Estará mejor aquí. Creo que sí. Okay, it's okay. This Okay, start the reading, Vilma. Okay, teacher. This, uh, what do you do in a situation like this? You're eating dinner with friends at a, ni a nice restaurant. You're having a great time when a phone rise on the table next to you. A man, a pronunciation, man? Man, yes. Man takes out this phone and start talking, a pronunciation loudly. 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 loudly, 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 about problem. He's having with this, uh, the, his girlfriend, he does for almost the my ten. Minute, ten minutes. This happens all the time. On bus, 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 buses, buses in restaurants everywhere. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Continue. Dalila, many many people sell cell phones using in their day to day life. But when I sat next to some to tell take long long time, to um, take conversation, but let's say um, management management take care of noise, noise, noisy, noisy, with, with customers, customers, 
You can only control your own be, 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 behavior. Behavior. They are a few rules. Okay, rules. Muy bien, questions about vocabulary? Behavior, teacher. Behavior is comportamiento, the way you act. Okay, the, the man was talking loudly and he's arguing with her girlfriend. So, but you cannot control what is he doing, his behavior, okay? More questions about vocabulary? No? Ok. Continue. Hay una palabra ahí. Espéreme, la palabra loudly. No, loudly. Loudly. Uh -huh. Es fuerte. Talking loudly. Fuerte. Yes. Gracias. Casi, casi gritando, alzar la voz, loudly. Gracias. Okay, Margarita, continue with the reading, please. Of means of, keep private conversations private. These two. Of means of, respect the rules of restaurant and other public place. If a uh, thing says, turn off cell phone, don't use your phone. Continue. Yes. Keep private conversation, private speak softly and for a short time, try to move away from uh, other people. Yes, a private, private. Private. And, okay, continue with the reading. Telma, lights off. Juan Carlos. Light off. Ah, ahí está. Okay. Light off. Light off. Phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Okay, continue with the next. Pay attention. Pay attention, talking on a cell phone, why driving is dangerous, and watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking and, and talking on the phone. Okay, and As more, the last part, okay, Luis Alejandro. Aileen, Carlos, a volunteer. Okay, Dalia. Uh, as more, are you, verdad? Yes. As more people use cell phones, sing or only going to wear work. So the next time you're wearing ready to make a call, start and consider the people around you. Excellent, thank you. Muy bien, y luego tenían por ahí uh, the statement. The writer will probably agree with. You should never use a cell phone in public Yes or no, according to the reading. No. Self, no. No, ¿verdad? No. O sea, decía no. que sí podían usarlo, pero de una manera mesurada. Number two, cell phones users are very rude people. No. 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 Turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. You should change, cha you should challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones? No. No, no. Okay. It's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car? No. 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 You can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Don't shoot into the phone. Yes. 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 Don't stand close to other people when you are using a cell phone. Yes. yes. Okay. Great. Muy bien. So that's the last activity for section five. Tomorrow veríamos the final test. Y terminaríamos lo del material. Okay. Mm. Okay, teacher. Let me, solo déjeme ver. Luis Josué, Manuel Fernando, Liliana Dolores, Ana Yulisa, no. Okay. I am here. Um, Liliana, okay. Muy bien, so that's it. We will see you tomorrow. We almost finish. Thank you, teacher. Good, of course. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Sadly, but true. Okay, get rest. <laughs> see you, see you. See you tomorrow. Good night.